out there in uh, YouTube land, uh, this is just a quick video going over uh, application of some inexpensive LED lights to this one-up rack. And the trick here is that uh, you can buy, uh, for a couple hundred bucks, Canadian, uh, a light and license plate uh, directly from one-up, which is great. Uh, but I, I wanted to go for something a little bit sleeker and something that was a little bit wider uh, because the one-up one kind of sits right here. In this case, uh, these are our LEDs. They're about 30 bucks from Kurt. And uh, what I've done is I've applied some magnets to them. So they're super easy to move around. Big thing is, is that when the rack's up, the rack is blocking the signal light on my leaf here. And putting the rack down, I can just uh, reapply the light here. And now you've got the light in the right position for when you're carrying the bikes. So, super simple. Um, I've also applied some of my magnet magic to the harness that kind of runs down here. And uh, it just makes it neat and tidy. So like I said, it takes a couple seconds just to switch these over and you've got yourself uh, enhanced safety with the one-up rack when you're either carrying in this case. Uh, this is a three bike setup. The two bike setup's not so bad because it kind of ends here, it doesn't block anything. Um, and a little bit better too when you're carrying the bikes because the bikes are a little bit lower and there's fewer of them. but when you're carrying three, you can see this is right at the level that blocks the light. And so this uh, makes a big difference. So there you go. We'll just go to the bench and I'll just show you some tips and tricks for applying the magnets. And you can uh, have at or you could use this with any type of rack, whether it's a bike rack or cargo rack or whatever you got. So hopefully you find uh, this helpful. So to get these lights together, you're going to want, uh, first of all, uh, to pick up the um, LED kit. And you can see uh, these are Kurt, part number is 53201. And uh, they come color coded with a four pin plug on them. So you can get them uh, wired up without uh, any drama. If you look closely too, there, each light is marked right and left. Um, now, you probably want some alcohol. This is 99% isopropyl to rub things off before you put any adhesive on. Some electrical tape, box cutters, scissors, And this is looming um, that I'm using to put around the wiring. Uh, which makes things a lot easier. And also you can attach the magnets to this looming uh, to make things nice and neat on the vehicle. So you don't have wires flying around. Now, these magnets I just ordered from Amazon, they're rare earth, they're quite strong. Uh, they're a little bit brittle um, until you get them mounted. So you just need to be a little bit careful about letting them come together because they are quite, uh, they're quite powerful. You have to twist them to get them apart and they come with a plastic separator. Uh, the trick here is these are epoxy coated so they won't rust. If you get a magnet that is not epoxy coated, it'll, it'll rust very quickly, especially here in Northern Ontario where we have salt on our roads and that sort of thing. So, um, and these do come with some two-sided adhesive, which is kind of cool. So you can just rip these off, peel off the backing, go onto the magnet. And the trick uh, with mounting these is pretty simple. If you want to make it easy, I'll just lay those aside. Like I said, they're quite powerful and they will fly and, and grab onto anything. Um, they are particular in the orientation. They don't, for example, these stick beautifully like this, but if I try to do it like this, or sorry, if I try to do it like this, you can see they'll, if I, they'll repel each other. So you wanna get them in the correct orientation so they actually stick. And in the instance where, you know, you're putting magnets on the looming, for example, you'll take one of them, place it on your looming where you want the harness to stay onto the rack or whatever you're putting this onto. Wrap the electrical tape around here and then after it's wrapped with the electrical tape just put the magnet in place so you know it's oriented correctly. Apply the, uh, you know, take one layer off. Clean this with alcohol. Take one layer off. Stick that on. Leave that backing on there. Wipe alcohol off the next surface. Peel the back and then stick it where you want it and now you know the magnets and everything are lined up so you don't have to measure or second guess yourselves. You can see what I'm talking about here with the magnets and uh, how you should line them up. But basically what I did here is I just took, I placed the magnet on the back of the light. There's a peel off um, 3M adhesive on there. I didn't want to peel this off. I just wanted to use a bit of it. So what I did is I just placed the magnet on there, cut out uh, the, cut out the backing with an X-Acto knife and then just stuck the magnet right to the adhesive that was already here. And then what I did is I, um, again, correctly aligned magnet number two, put the adhesive on here, 
and then you can pretty much just eyeball it and then stick it on and then when you pull this off basically you have the magnet in the right spot yeah so the thing is you could also measure this if you're uh, and you'd have to measure these out if you're a bit of a type a personality i wasn't too worried about it i just kind of eyeballed it uh, in place and you can get pretty close that way obviously you can move it around a bit too right so um uh, one of the top tricks too uh there is some uh, reflective material and i didn't want this to be sticking on because if you look at where this fastens on i didn't you want to interfere with this arm so i had to move it over a bit um so i did take off the adhesive that's here and that can be it uh, oh by the way if you want to take this magnet off just use a heat gun um a heat gun or a hair dryer heat this up and gently just pry it off otherwise you're just going to make a mess uh, this is anodized it won't uh, uh, shouldn't scrape up, but these are powder coatings. So if you go in and start trying to scrape this off with metal, you're going to damage it. Uh, heat gun, though, heat it up and it'll come right off without making a mark. Just heat that, clean that up with alcohol after you never know it was there. So there you go. There's some top tips for uh, applying the magnets onto the um, rack. So that's the simple tip and trick to getting these uh, mounted easily and quickly. So there you go. A few bits and pieces to make the job easier. Now, if we have a look at the uh, wiring and the routing, a few tips here. You can see that I had to move the magnet locations over a little bit so that I didn't, uh, I just wanted it flush with the bottom here and not interfering with this, but I have a little loop here. So what you can do is just, I'll just raise this arm up so it's out of the way. And what you can do is when you go here, you just go around. I've, I've basically put a tie wrap in this location and this location so the wire's not wandering. It doesn't interfere with anything. But I can just kind of loop it. And then you can see I don't have that loop of wire that the tire is going to rub on or anything. So it's just super simple. Um, so we go around here, back out to the bottom location. The wire just runs in here. You can see I have looming here that we looked at earlier. And I've got my handy nanny magnet here and a magnet uh, adhered to the rack here. And you can hear that little click and that just keeps it in place and routes it nice and sweet so that's a little bit of the cable routing and I have uh, magnets that go all the way down and kind of hold everything and I also have one of my the harness on the uh, car itself so that doesn't flop around when you're driving or drop onto the road so top tips for you there the LED lights have two different rows and they function a little bit differently depending on whether uh, in this case you'll see if I turn the lights on the top row lights and then if I indicate um, a turn, then you'll see that the, uh, the bottom row fires up. And then if you're turning and you hit the brakes, you can see that the lights uh, function a little bit differently again. Um, so here again, here you have it again. This is with the lights coming on. This is a signal light. And this is a signal light applying the brakes. And then again, now we uh, turn the lights off. And you'll see here, I'll press the brake, and we get two rows lighting up fully bright. I guess that makes it a little easier to see uh, in the daytime. And then if you signal, you can see that the uh, both lights now signal on and off with full intensity. And they alternate with the uh, signal light on my car, given the uh, electronics of the interface there to the uh, plug-in there at the back of my car. So there you have it. Um, kind of cool little lights for 30 bucks and uh, plenty bright and uh, definitely will uh, improve safety while you're on the road all right there you go for about 40 bucks you can ramp up your safety on the road maybe avoid getting pulled over um, and uh, let drivers know what you're doing safely when you're carrying a bike rack or a cargo rack behind your car hope you found that helpful